Our next Hall of Fame inductee is the first Latina and woman of color elected president of the Society of Professional Journalists. In the organization's 113 year history, she has been a journalist for four decades. 28 of those years were spent as a reporter at television stations across the country. Today, she is a freelance reporter who works on all news platforms. Along the way, she has been recognized with 50 awards and nominations for her journalism work. And she has also been a member of NHJ since the mid-1980s and has served on the NHJ board as vice president. Let's see some of the highlights from her career now. As Latino journalists, when we go in there, we're not thinking, uh-huh. You know what? We need to take a stand because we are children of immigrants. Again, like all the other journalists in the world, everyone has a different style, everyone has a different approach, everyone has a different stand. And it's our job as journalists to ask those tough questions because we are the messengers for the public. I don't care where you come from. Break down your own barriers. I'm there to seek the truth. I'm not allowed, I'm not going to let these barriers get in my way from telling a story. You never stop learning as a journalist. Always continue evolving, adding more tools, because the more tools you have, the better opportunities you have. I learned how to code. I can make a website from scratch. Learn something new. I learned how to use all everything, Photoshop. I learned how to edit, continue to grow. And I knew right then, I don't want to work for anyone else after 28 years in TV news. I want to do my own thing. Before we hit the pearly gates, I know that when God sees me, he's going to say, Rebecca did this, 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 and this. and. Well, he better let me in through the gates, because if not, I'm going to push through. But I hope that all you guys today look at this and wonder and, and say to yourselves, have I made my mark? And if you haven't, make it before it's too late. Gracias. Everyone, please join me in congratulating my dear friend, Rebecca Aguilar. Gosh, I'm already crying. It's okay, tears of joy. You know, I am both honored and humbled to be recognized with this NHJ Hall of Fame Award. I wanna thank my mentee and good friend, Daniela Ibarra, for nominating me for this great honor. Thank you, Diana Nanez, Jim Acosta, Finn Gomez, Jim Avila, and the 2022 NABJ Hall of Famer, Cheryl Smith, for your beautiful recommendations. And I appreciate your friendships, too. You're right. I've been a reporter for 41 years. Thank you. But you know what? I really owe my success to NHJ. This organization has been the blood in my veins, la sangre en mis venas, since the mid-1980s when I joined. It has been there for the good, bad, and ugly in my career. NHJ helped me get 90% of my jobs in journalism because of conferences, networking, you name it. Some of you out there, you said, I have a job, and you gave it to me. NHJ taught me to be a good leader because I sat on the NHJ board for six years. And today, as Nora told you, I am the president of the Society of Professional Journalists with 6,000 members, yes, the first Latina and woman of color in, get this, 113 years. I owe it to NHJ, thank you. NHJ was the shoulder to lean on when I was fired from one job. And my phone, I have 30, the first 30 calls when I was fired, 90% of them were NHJ members, thank you. I wanna give shout outs to people that have impacted my life, Eleanor Vega, Yvette Davila Richards, Joanna Hernandez, Sid Garcia, Bonnie Gonzalez, Israel Balderas, Marcela Toledo, Nora Lopez, Sal Morales, McNelly Torres, John Quinones. By the way, let me tell you a quick story about John. 1986, I think, we meet in Tucson. I think we met at the bar. 
He was a big time ABC network correspondent. I was some little reporter in Corpus Christi. But you know what the beauty of NHJ is when we show up, we are equals. No one is better than the other. Just because you're at the network or make a gazillion dollars, it doesn't mean that we're lower. And that's, again, as Nora said, John is that down to earth, and he has been a mentor since then. I want to give a shout out to the Hispanic Communicators DFW in Dallas, one of the best NHJ chapters. And what about my Latinas in journalism for being in my life? If you haven't joined our group, please do. I also want to thank a friend, Sandra Garcia, who came from Fort Worth, a viewer back in Dallas who we met, you know? And, and this is the beauty, how we touch people. Sandra comes here, she has nothing to do with journalism, and she came to support me. Isn't that cool? It's beautiful. And you know what? Okay, I'm gonna get teary-eyed here. Most of all, I wanna thank my husband, John Boos, who decided more, more than 30 years ago to support my career over his. He followed me from city to city, never complaining. By the way, he's back in Dallas taking care of the five dots. <laughs> and now our own son, Alex, he's back there probably taking some video, is in the news business. He's an executive producer for the CBS station in Detroit. And he's part of the NHJ family. He makes us proud. My parents, Alfredo and Rebecca Aguilar, former undocumented workers from Mexico, taught me that we can be anything in life with courage, compassion, and commitment. My friends continue to have the courage to speak up for equal pay and for representation in this business. Silence is not an option. Continue to help other Latinx journalists to thrive and survive in this crazy-ass business. And lastly, continue being committed to tell our stories because we know there are many Latinos and Latinas out there who are doing great things. I send you much love. Have a great night. Congratulations to Rebecca again. Let me tell you a little story about Rebecca. In 2010, I first met her at NAH Day in Denver because there was this woman holding court and all of these budding journalists around her who were just hanging on every word. She was spreading the wisdom, spreading the knowledge, and this was like in the hallway. It wasn't even a panel. And that's what she continues to do. I've been following her for years, and it is just so special for me to be able to, to witness her receiving this award. <laughs>